All right, what we're doing here today is changing out a speedometer gear. And this, you'd be doing this if uh, you had changed tire sizes or changed gears. And now your speedometer is incorrect. Or maybe the gear itself failed. Now, this is on a uh, Jeep Cherokee. Um, now this might look a little different than yours. This has a slip yoke eliminator attached to it, or uh, been installed using a uh, CV type style drive shaft. Um, this part here will be the same. If you uh, have an older model, it's still going to be the same other than it's going to use a different type of gear. This is a uh, 98, but I believe in 97 they went to a shorter style like this one. This is a longer style shaft. They all have uh, numbers of teeth on them. This one's a 32. This one says it's a 35. 34 was very common. And very simple to change. Half inch wrench. And you can find a chart online it tells you, let's say, you know your gear ratio and your how tall your tire is. It'll tell you how many tooth a gear you need. There, you simply just pull that out. Now you're just going to grab a hold of the gear, take it off. And then, if this was, for example, the one you needed, put it right in there and it snaps in. Okay, and then... On the side here, if you look real carefully, I hope you can see this. It's got, got numbers in here, 32 to 38, 39 to 45, 26 to 31. And that's how many number of teeth. And what you're gonna wanna do, when you, let's say you're putting this back in now. And what I like to also do is take just a little bit of transmission fluid right there, put it on that O-ring. Give it a little lubrication, so put it back in, it'll go in nicely. Okay, push it in like that. Then, this, if you got a, like we got a, uh, let's see, what is that, a 36 in there right now. So that would be between the 32 and 38. And there's a little notch right there, pointing to that. That's where, when you put this item back on here, you're going to, Put it on there, rotate it right there, which lines up with that bolt hole. Put that back on. And you don't have to get crazy with the torque here. I mean, it's just an O-ring. And there's hardly any pressure on this at all. It'll just right there. I don't know how many foot-pounds that is, but it ain't a whole lot. That should work great for you. So just remember you got to use whatever gear tooth you use. You, you rotate this so it lines up with this part of this piece of metal. And that meshes the gear that's on the sh output shaft with the teeth of this. So it'll operate. If you put it together and it doesn't work, you probably got this rotated in the wrong position. Pretty simple. All right, thanks for watching.